What's up, everybody? Welcome to Test Drive. This is Mono Red Burn. This is the last standard stream we're doing, actually, except for probably uh, Fan Fridays. We'll probably be streaming a standard deck that day. Uh, but this will be the last standard before Christmas, basically. So, what better way to ring in Christmas with a Christmas Landy style deck, which is Mono Red Burn? <laughs> it's a very, uh, very laid back, very uh, janky, but still ultimately a ton of fun deck uh, for the format. There are blue creatures that ping, that's true. Oh man. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Gonna make sure everything is good to go. I did um, update these overlay stuff, so I have all my overlay stuff over, uh, like on this time. So, that's good. That way nobody gets confused. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty, let's uh, kind of go over the deck real quick. I haven't actually done the uh, deck tech for it just yet, uh, but we can go and show the deck right here. This is the Mono Red Burn. This is uh, about 66 tickets on MTGO Traders. Uh, I believe it was like right under 100 or right at 100 uh, on paper. Not too bad. Uh, of course, we have four Sun Scorched Desert, four Aether Hub, four Rabbit Up Ruins, and of course, 11 Mountains. Then uh, three Treasure Map, four Dynavolt Tower, because that's one of the subways to win the match. Three Primal Amulet, because if you get to uh, count, uh, du duplicating your uh, burn spells, it's actually basically game over. Four Shock, two Harness Lightning, two Cathartic Reunion to help refill our hand if we draw into Mountains too much. Four Lightning Strike, three Hungry Flames, because that's a great card for removal. One Inferno Jet, just for the off chance we actually get into it. Most of the time this is just going to be a Cycling, though, but we can dream. Uh, three Insult Injury, four Firebrand Archer, because it does count for non-creature spells, so that does mean Artifact and regular spells, indeed. And then four Walking Ballista in the main board. And of course, in the sideboard here, we have two Shauna's Defeat, two Magna Spray, two Abrade, two uh, Rampaging Frostodon, three Sweltering Suns, two Gremlin Infestation to combat that uh, Godfrey's Gift strategy, and two Hazard the Fervent. Hazard probably coming in more often than not uh, in the uh, Game 2 strategy, just because it's a fantastic way to uh, kind of like make sure we're getting in. Oop, I hit the mic. Make sure we're getting in a lot of damage in that Game 2. Uh, but yeah, I like it a lot. Finally caught one of your streams here at work, waiting to see you flood out. <laughs> Ezra, just, uh, you know, it's going to happen, my friend. And when it does, you can uh, you can cheer to that. <laughs> oh, no, it says Budget Elves. You're right. Let me, uh, let me get the stream overlay fixed now. I got the numbers fixed. I didn't get the actual overlay fixed. There we go. Now it's fixed. Now it's fixed, guys. And then I open I open Photoshop. It, it isn't a day where I don't misclick something. Oh man. <laughs> Let me uh, try and get this closed, please. Thank you. All right. Very nice. It's a sorry. Why would you play Aetherhub? Aetherhub feeds the Dynavolt Tower, uh, Wilson, to get to that five point, or feeds into the Harness Lightning plates we have as well. Uh, well, opening hand here is not bad. We have two shocks, treasure map, and primal amulet. We're gonna keep this, and uh, let's see what we can do. We're on the play, or on the draw, actually. Jaws the picture? No, no, no. Ten out of ten, best stream. Yeah. Let's see. You're gonna go to uh, a mountain play first, and then pass turn again. The harness lightning feeds the, with aether hub as well as uh, the dynavolt tower, so that's why they're in here. Could have done a full play set of Harness Lightning instead of these shocks. I think that might have been a bit better as far as the curve in retrospect after lots of testing. Uh, but I do like having the shocks in your main board as well. We're up against, looks like, Esper Control, perhaps? Dynamo Tower. Let's get out a mountain here and do a treasure map. Pass turn. First time I'm watching the stream, usually in college at this time. Nice, Chris. Yeah, I think uh, everybody's like semesters are like winding down, right? What's up, Josh? All right. Why not the deserts that ping one damage? There are four of them in the uh, main board here, Ricardo. Sunscorch Desert. The deck list again is in the description. Okay. Let's go for a treasure map scry. Oh, I, I unclicked the upkeep instead of clicking it. It's funny. We're going to put that on top. We really want Firebrand uh, Archer out as soon as possible. 
Uh, we have two two available power here or mana here. We're going to wait on that again. We want to sit on a bunch of our spells until absolutely necessary, especially against a control strategy like this. We want to wait for them to play out their bomb. Most of your office is already on vacation. As the IT guy, that means it's a super quiet day for me. Ah, you get to chill and do nothing. Kind of nice. Nobody gets to be like, why is it my computer connected to the internet? And then you're like, oh, it's because your foot kicked out the ethernet cable. <laughs> That's happened more than once whenever I was working at an office. Okay. Let's go with a uh, treasure map scry again. Obviously, we know it's on top, which is the Firebrand Archer. We're going to keep that on top. We're going to try and play it out this turn. It's going to get countered. Uh, but out of everything in our hand, that's the card we kind of don't care about the most at the moment. Wow, it does hit. Nice. Had that happen on a few occasions, Josh? Nice. <laughs> Somebody slow here. People aren't looking into schools for their kids when they're on break. That's true. What's up, Wagner? Glimmer of Genius here. Yeah, we're going to go up against an Esper. Might be an Esper approach deck here. We're going to uh, do the scry on the treasure map play and then get three treasures and then see if we can get out a Dynavolt Tower or maybe even a Primal Amulet. The Amulet does help us because it makes the Harness Lightning just one mana. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to hit six for our opponent since we are completely tapped out. The opponent might do a cast out on the Firebrand Archer or the treasure map here. Might have a hostile uh, hostage shaker for the treasure map as well cast out on the, I would assume, treasure map. Yeah. That's fine. That does mean we'll be able to get out the Dynavolt Tower next turn. If we get into a mana, we might do the Primal Amulet instead. You're Brazilian? Nice! Just played my first GP in New Jersey. I finished 212 out of 1,100 people. That's nice. That's awesome, Gage. Uh, we're going to draw. Let's go for an Aether Hub. Sweet. Alright, uh, let's try for a... Huh. Primal Amulet is fantastic for us because it does mean we'll be able to go off quicker. The Dynavolt Tower is great for us as well. We're just going to get the uh, Primal Amulet out first. And then we're going to get in for two points of damage here. Obviously we're doing one damage because we cast a non-creature spell with Primal Amulet. Mono Red Burn is too slow at the moment. Yeah, Kieran, that's why we're uh, playing it for the uh, Standard Before Christmas because this is a Christmas Land deck. This is a deck that uh, you might win one or two matches. You're not going to win everything. It is a little slow, but it's fun. That's kind of what I wanted to play it for, because I think it's a lot of fun. If everyone got, I'd probably be in the server room recabling an entire rack. <laughs> Josh, dude, recabling, man. Like, that is a, that is a, tr that is like a day and a half of work. That's ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, okay. Opponent lay to land, six cards in hand. Gonna draw into a Dynavolt Tower here. We're gonna try and get that out first. Obviously, uh, it might get to counter, but we have another one in our hand, so I'm okay with that. What's up, Kieran? Oh, it's the, your uh, when was it your birthday, Josh? Was it today or yesterday? Needs more impending dooms. Eaton, I like impending doom, but I every time I've played with it, it's always been not, not in my favor. So, Kieran, give Josh a little birthday dance. What, what kind of what kind of dance? Do you like do you like the robot? Do you like the YMCA? I don't I don't know. I'm not a dancer. I'm a player. Boring Taylor. It was Sunday. Oh, gotcha, Josh. Well, happy birthday. I didn't even know that. While Dynavolt Tower does get on the board, we're going to try for a Firebrand Archer attack here. We might die to a Settler Wreckage. Let's see what happens. If that's the case, we just feed into our, uh, our hand here. Ooh, it does hit. Doesn't it? Does it? Doesn't it? It does. A little truffle shuffle. I have more of a, a, a keg and not a, a loose, you know, like, what do you, what do you, like a waterbed, basically? It's more of a sturdy keg. I've got, like, the, uh, the Goron, like, from Zelda. I've got, like, that kind of, that kind of, like, orb thing going on here. <laughs> I've actually looked uh, into, uh, like, cosplaying as a Goron a couple years ago. I should probably do that soon. That'd be fun. Going to a, uh, thing. We can shock him here. That's true. Let's see what they do on this turn, though. 
Shock will do a bunch of damage. Let's see, they're going to push here. Yeah, we're going to shock in response. Get two triggers. Three triggers, actually. So many things. Mega deck in fact someday. I will for sure. For sure. <laughs> Body type. Orb. Advances blasting cannons. It's seen nice here. Card advantage and another Dynavolt like effect. Uh, here, yeah, I think it might be just uh, either you do Vance's or you do Dynavolt. I think if you do both, it's uh, going to be really difficult for you to play. Uh, I picked uh, Dynavolt because of the way it can kind of build turn over turn. Um, but I do think Vance's is very good in, in draft and it's sealed. So I think it probably just needs like a slight push uh, from rivals and it'll be amazing. Getting some energy, getting some counters. <laughs> getting some damage in, and of course, the archer does die. Could have done a harness lightning there to build up some energy as well. Okay. Because these might not be going into effect very much in this particular game. Could get out another Dynavolt Tower if we could try. Let's see, four man up. Might be hitting into a counter here. If not, it's going to be great for us. Wow. All right, so we're going to keep the shocks in our hand. Maybe a glimmer of genius here. Hunting for an approach. There it is. Shock to the face. Got some Dynamo Tower action going here. Second counter on the Primal Amulet. Nice. Have Chandra's and Glorybringers. What deck should I build? Uh, Ramen Up Red sounds pretty good, Benjamin. Yeah, I can Harness Landing and not spend any energy. That's true. Punt is down to nine. We do have six points of damage between the two Dynavolt Towers if we get to ten. And if we have a target for on the Harness Lightning next turn, we can actually do that. So, we'll see what happens. And they only have five mana, so they will be able to flip a search next turn. And then getting into a seventh mana wouldn't be too terrible. If they have an approach play here, then it might be game. We'll see what happens, though. What do you think of the new Tolarian Academy in Rivals? Oh, is there is there a new art or a new uh, spoiler today? Let me pick up. I saw the Vonus Hunger. I didn't see a a Tolarian Academy. Did that get remade? Opponent's turn here. Nine cards in hand. Storm the Vault. Gotcha. Oh, it's nice. It's, yeah, this one. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Shock wins the game for me. Yeah, that's true. As long as our opponent doesn't have... Oh, they have a tap line here, so they don't get to approach this turn. Let's just see what happens. I'm assuming they'll have something. There's a cast out, probably for a... Let's see. Dynavolt Tower? Or I mean amulet. What are you picking here? If you pick a dynamo tower, I just tap it and we use that energy immediately. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have to use that energy immediately for that tap ability. Why no black bump and ribbons? For you mean cut to ribbons? <laughs> I wanted to kind of make it kind of a pure red deck. Uh, a Rakdos, we made a Rathgos amulet deck a while ago, or a Grixis amulet deck, and that was a lot of fun. Lightning Strike and Shock here. I think we have the game, correct? I believe so. Let's go for a strike. 
and see what our opponent can do. You let that hit. They have seven cards in hand. They have two mana available. All right. Do they have a Supreme Will here? If not, anyway, we still win with the Dynavolt Tower trigger, so I'm good. Do we know about the new Challenger decks? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, yes to that, sure. Yeah, the new Challenger decks. That's that's funny. <laughs> the shock hit. I mean, we have Dynavolt Tower anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal. There you go. That should be game. Bada bing! Nice. Let's get into game two here. Gonna be bringing out the uh, Harness Lightnings here. They're not gonna be that useful in this particular matchup. Um, I do like bringing in Hazaret if we're a little bit faster on the play. Oh no, opponent! Why? Ah, opponent was like, "I'm not, I'm not fast enough. I'm not fast enough." Fine, we'll go to match two. Sure, why not? We'll count that. It's always a good day when you can count that a uh, control deck just decides to to peace out. Hit start. This opponent is named Bird Marks, so let's see if they have a burn deck. Let's see, two lands here, three lands, two ballistas, and a cathartic reunion. I think this might be a keep for us. Let's try it. Not as fast as we want it to be, obviously. We're going to go for a Sunscorched Desert. Opponent deciding whether or not to mulligan. Getting a rage quit from an approach deck is always a good thing. <laughs> That's true. Do keep in mind, though, that uh, source Insult is a sorcery speed, so we can't uh, prevent that life gain. Uh, gonna go for a Sunscorched Desert and ping for one. How many Shoners do you have, by the way, Benjamin? I have four. Whoa! What's up, Zagoning? Gonna yield to this. Drop them down to 19, and then we're going to pass turn. Hit 6 for our opponent. Evolving Wilds, Sack here. Wow, no Evolving Wilds, Sack. I think going for a Ramen Up Ruins, then going for a Cathartic Reunion here. Might be pretty good. Let's get rid of a Ballista. I would say an Insult. Maybe a Ballista and a Harness Lightning. Yeah, cancel, actually. Let's try, just try to get out a Ballista first. If our opponent's not going to have anything out, then their first two turns, and I think we might be okay. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to be a little bit more uh, antsy on the Cathartic Reunion. Getting into blue mana here. Okay. This could be the Cycling Duck, maybe. Drowned Catacombs, black, blue. Treasure map, that's fair. Let's see what we get into. Our own treasure map. Let's get an Aether Hub here. Hit OK. Play our own treasure map. And just get in for one here. This deck seems like some serious potential. Yeah. I do want to build uh, a munitions deck where uh, you can sack stuff to that new enchantment that's in Exelon. I think if uh, Rivals does provide us some more uh, abilities to sack artifacts, like some more treasures, I think that's going to be awesome. Let's see here. Three mana. Five cards in hand. Treasure map. Let me get that upkeep trigger going. Champion of Wits here. This might be a Godfrey's Gift strategy. Yeah, I did that. Never gonna. Thank you for reminding me. I have a $2 blue-red Artificer deck if you want to try it out. Would love to do that. Hey, put that in the, uh, the Facebook group. The link is in the description if you guys want to join that. I have a pin post there for Fan Fridays. Do keep in mind, the week of Christmas, every single stream will be a Fan Friday deck. Uh, so whatever you guys put in that that, that section there, I will be uh, kind of going over and playing every single day. So Tuesday through Friday. We're going to put the insult at the bottom of our deck for now. Draw into something. Got into a shock there. They get rid of a champion and a treasure map. Hmm. Hmm. 
could go for a shock or a just a simple walking ballista trade and hold up a harness lightning. Maybe play a harness lightning instead and get that two energy. <laughs> so anyone have any idea what to do when your PC doesn't even want to boot off of a USB drive anymore? Zagadine, that sounds like a BIOS thing. You might want to go into, uh, I think it's F11, depending on what your, your thing is. Cathartic. Dumping injury is good if you want to dump anything. Insult is the worst side anyway. Yeah, it's true. I would say dumping uh, Insult and the Ballista here for the Cathartic Reunion play. We could do that because we didn't play a mana this turn. Let's see if we can get into some red mana. Save that Harness Lightning and Shock. Nice. Got into another uh, Insult there. Gonna go for a Shock here and then just get in for one. Very cool. Yes, even get into BIOS and Diagnostics, yeah, exactly. Also keep in mind, uh, Zakading, that it might be your motherboard. If your motherboard battery is low, or if you've had your motherboard for a long time, and you're like, the watch battery that's on the actual motherboard, if it goes out, a lot of weird stuff can happen. So do keep that in mind too. That could be an issue, depending on how long you've had your board. So... <laughs> Getting real technical today. <laughs> I don't know why we're talking about this, but it's, you know. But it's time my BIOS already tried different configurations and whether I boot off my HDD or USB. Always freezes in black after the Windows logo. Hmm. I don't know, Zagadine. Legion's landing here. Nice. Does mean that Soltering Suns will be coming in in game two. I'm not really sure if this is a Godfrey's Gift deck or if this is a. Stockpile deck. Go for a treasure map scry. Dynamo Tower? We can put that on top. That's sure. That's fine. That's sure. That's fine. What are words? Sunscorched Desert. Gonna pink for one. This turn, I'm gonna be probably a little bit conservative. I'm assuming they have a negate in hand with three cards in hand, so we're not going to play the Dynavolt Tower this turn. We could play Harness Lightning on the Vampire, or we could just make Walking Ballista larger. Also, just do uh, Injury in the uh, Graveyard here, too. I think Injury might be the next, the best play we can possibly do this turn. Yeah, let's do that. Taren with a good IT advice. <laughs> Josh, I, I mean, it was in, when I was in high school, I worked at a PC repair shop for a couple years. Um, whatever. <laughs> I worked in the ITC uh, during college too, so helping uh, professors use their tablets and laptops. If you ever need an IT job in San Francisco, Chicago, Boston, or New York, let me know, Terry. <laughs> no problem, Josh. Will do. Will do, man. Oh, man. I just built my new rig. I love it, by the way. Runs like a dream. It's so quiet too, but like the, uh, the cooler I had is just so tall, just does not fit in the case. I think I've already said that already, but uh, yeah. Helping professors, uh huh? <laughs> professors can't turn on the, the the smart board. Feels bad, man. Exactly, Benjamin. I don't understand. Like, they have a you know they'll have a degree in like oh I have a degree in psychology or a degree in economics, but they can't turn on a smart board or you know use like the cloud service that the, the campus wants you to use or whatever. It's so strange to me. I'm like, but it's like your job to know this stuff. Uh, we can go for a bottom on the Ramnap Ruins here. We are getting some treasures. They're completely tapping out for that annoying procession here. Ooh, Inferno Jet. Oh, do we win this turn? Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We don't win this turn because we can't do Insult and injure, uh, Inferno Jet the same turn. Worked at a college help desk. So many porn viruses on student computers. Absolutely, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So next turn we can do Inferno Jet and Insult, which is 12 points of damage. Uh, so this turn we're going to just play out Dynevolt Tower. Be a little bit conservative on our mana. Oh man, I'm excited to do 12 points of damage with this, since we do have the mana for it next turn. Our opponent's probably going to get out a lot of uh, creatures and stuff, but uh, we're not really worried about that. I was an RA when I was in college for two years, and uh, or more like a semester and a half. 
well, two semesters, three semesters. I'll say three semesters because I was over there during the summer too. And um, man, every single time there was a new semester and you have all the, the freshmen come in, like we would, I would always sit them down and be and do like the Philip DeFranco speech, which was like, uh, just don't be stupid, stupid. <laughs> if you know it's bad, you know, don't do it on campus. Oh man. Wow, we're at uh, 125 watching right now. What's up, guys? So many new people today. That's awesome. I guess it's because the uh, semester might be over for everybody. That's awesome. If uh, you guys don't know, I uh, stream Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on the channel. Like the video, of course, if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ooh, Fumigate does gain them a life here. Let's go for a one ping on the Fumigate. So they don't gain life. Oh, opponent tapping out again. They have one card in hand. Oh my gosh, if they don't have a counter this turn, we win with uh, Inferno Jet and Insult. What are we drawn to this turn? Amulet. Semester over, Carl. Nice. Alright, let's go for an in Insult. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's correct, right? Yeah. We do get some energy here. Oh my gosh, do they have it? They're heading over on to a rebel. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve damage to the face. Does it happen? Does it happen? Are we living it? Are we living the dream? Are we doing it? Yes! Nice. Negative one. Oh, that was fun. Well, whatever. We'll that'll, that'll never happen again. But we lived the dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to say Harness Lightnings are coming out here. Sweltering Suns are coming in. Um, Ballistas are coming out. Hazrets coming in. That was awesome. Another Sweltering Suns coming in here. I do like Rampaging Ferocidon for this matchup as well. Let's take out a Primal Amulet. And then, let's see. I want to say a Braid. Might be okay. What would we replace? Hmm. Let's bring in a braid and take out one hungry flames and one cath. Well, not, let's not take out a cathartic reunion just yet. You know, let's just get rid of the, the amulets to begin with and uh, get in that hungry flames and be fine with that. I think that's good. Let's submit. Really want to build a standard burn deck, but went more of a creature-centric version. Carl, there are a lot of great creatures in standard right now for burn and aggro. So, you, you basically, I would say you went the right way. Because um, this deck right here is just kind of a uh, more fun version, like, more casual kitchen table version. This is an okay opening hand. Not amazing, because uh, Cathartic Reunion being in the hand here is what makes the hand great. We're going to keep it. Red burn turned into a munitions aggro deck. Nice, James. Esper tokens, yeah. Let's see here. Opponent's gonna go first. We're gonna hit six for our opponent. All right, gonna go for a draw here. Let's see what we get into. We'd like to get into a treasure map early if we could. Got into a shock here. Not too bad. Let's get a mountain out and pass. Next turn we'll play the Sunscorched Desert. Would have ex was expecting a Legion's Landing this turn. Maybe a search for Ascanta though. Ooh, Anointer Priest. Interesting. Let's go for a Sun Scorched Desert here. Deal a point of damage. Okay. Hungry Flames can take care of the Anointer Priest. A Braid can also take care of the Anointer Priest, so we might just keep a and a Braid in our hand until next turn if they play Allegiance Landing. Also, Taren, is there a reason why you were not playing black in this deck? Uh, no, James, I just wanted to be uh, a simple red deck uh, with burn in it. That's just kind of the reason, James. I wanted to kind of be a pure burn deck. Um, Rakdos is, I would say, the best version of the burn deck right now, um, or the is it burn deck with the um, the two different the archer as well as the um, the artificer. I can't remember his name. He's a two mana one three. He pings your opponent when you play an, an artifact um, or when an artifact enters the battlefield. Uh, he's just gonna hit us for one here. That's fine. Opponent has six cards in hand. If he's not playing this anything this turn, I'm kind of expecting a the gate in his hand. 
We could try for an abrade here. Let's see if it hits. It does. Okay. Treasure map does help us here. Let's go for a mountain and then hold up a mountain for a shock and play out a treasure map and pass turn. Gonna tick the upkeep again. Nice. All right, hit six again. Is the current Fan Friday thread the one for which you'll pull your Christmas week playlist from? Yes, Josh. So I should probably edit that uh, comment or the, the top there and say that. Uh, but yeah, everybody that's submitting there, I'm just going to start taking a bunch of those submissions and like planning out next week. Aether up here. Got into a Lightning Strike that turn. Should have done the uh, treasure map scry there. Put that on top. That's great. Uh, keeping Hungry Flames in our hand. We have a lot of gas in our hand right now, so we want to hold on to it as long as we can. Really rustles my jimmies that this garbage happened. What happened now? Oh, okay, go around for solutions all over the place. But everything bullish is down to just boot from USB, brah. <laughs> Why try booting from an installed disk as a last ditch effort? Have you tried, yeah, installing like a, maybe not a USB, but like a SATA drive? That might help. Could be something with that. Resubmit your PS Revolution Modern Affinity right now? Do it, Josh. Do it. <laughs> Got into uh, two strikes here, two shocks, and a hungry flames. Again, we're not going to sack anything in our hand at the moment. Um, Lifelink for the Sacred Cat does hurt us a little bit, so hungry flames might be something we want to use this turn. Actually, I'm going to wait for next turn before they get into uh, some... Uh, more stuff. Reckless Fire Weaver, gotcha. What's up, uh, Joey? So much burn in your hand, your hand is fire. <laughs> it's true, see, Daddy. It's straight fire. Straight fire. Let's see here. Are they going to go to uh, combat here? We're going to go for a Hungry Flames. Might see a counter here. Nope, not going to see that. Awesome. All right, three, six, and then we have a four here. So they're actually do 10 points of damage right out of our hand right now. Whew. Treasure map does give us three treasures, so. I believe this hand is actually lightning. <laughs> not fire, that's true. It stopped working after a Windows update restarted the PC after finishing this Sunday. Wouldn't be surprised if the reboot somehow corrupted something in the in the OS. Okay, then. Well, then, Zach, what I would do is um, I would definitely take out the um, battery in the motherboard to reset everything. And then have it kind of, whenever you whenever it boots up again, it'll uh, ask for boot stuff again. Uh, Legion's Landing coming in. That's fine. If that's, if that's the way I understand it. That's the way I used to do it a long time ago. You can also do that to uh, get rid of somebody's administrator password. That's some that's some uh, sneaky tactic there, by the way. Let's go for a treasure map here. On top. Hmm. That's an interesting play for us because... One, two, three, four, six, two, four, six. We could actually do shocks and lightning strikes this turn with the treasure map. Or we can play out these, this particular, draw into this treasure map, play that out. Hmm. Now I'm kind of debating whether or not to keep this. If we draw into a Sweltering Sun, so that it will be really fun for us. Uh, we are at 19, so we can take, you know, three points of damage. The lifelink damage here from the vampire is what I'm worried about the most. Getting into an injury here is also great because we can at least get some points of damage in. I think putting this on top is fine. Let's get this out. And then we're going to uh, pass turn again. We're going to take some points of damage here, but the reason we did that is because we wanted to uh, make sure that when we play everything out that it's going to hit. It's going to hit solid. It's going to hit clean. Husband started setting up my daughter's Xmas gift laptop last week. He has forgotten the password he assigned. <laughs> oh no! Tearing with them PC hacking <laughs> hacking hacks. 
Gonna try taking it out after putting together my new machine. If all this fails, I'll try hooking up my HD4 new machine to grab the files. Gotcha. Yeah, you can always do that too. Scry at the end here. Yeah, we could we could do that. Anointed procession coming down. Again, our opponent is trying to set up as well, so we're uh just kind of doing our own setup here. Ruins, we're gonna put them on the bottom. Let's do another scry here with a sun scorched desert. Tower. Mmm, mmm, spicy meatball. <laughs> Crispy, yeah, this is standard. <laughs> does this look does it look weird on your screen? Let's go with the Dynavolt Tower play here. Getting at the Dynavolt Tower, again, we have Lightning Strikes and Shocks. The next turn, we'll be able to just completely pummel them with plays. Again, I'm not that afraid of taking the uh, three points of damage here. We're, we are keeping up a Shock. We're not going to use the Treasures just yet. Evolving Wilds play here. Four cards in their hand. Sure. Three damage on turn five. <laughs> Standard is so slow. That's true, but it's fun that way. I feel like it's fun that way. Oh, Ixalan's Binding coming in. Oh, what are they grabbing? I would imagine the Dynavolt Tower, but maybe the treasure map? Yeah. That's fair. That does suck for us, but again, that does mean they're tapped out again, which is great. They got into some black black mana they needed. Let's get to a treasure map scry here. Remnant Bruins, let's bottom that. What are we drawn into? Aether Hub, not terrible. Again, 10 points of damage here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go for a treasure... Whoop. Nope. Treasure map draw. Ruins. Hmm. Love Binding. Binding's pretty fun. Oh, what's up, Jace? Let's see here again. We can do 10 points of damage. Would love to get into an insult. I think the next time we draw a card, we'll be using Cathartic Reunion uh, to... Hopefully draw into an insult to end the game. Yeah, we're going to pass turn here. So close. We're so close on the setup here. Two, four, six, nine. We, have, we need nine mana to do that. We have it. Again, getting in for three. Drop me down to ten. Drop them up to twenty. The actual worst part about this is that I don't have the time to go commander or night. Aw, that sucks, Zagadine. Commander's fun. We'll be doing that on third. Well, tomorrow, actually. Almost said Thursday there. Alright. What do you got now? Another anointed procession? <clears throat> Just keep tapping out. Just keep tapping out. That's all I care about right now. Get into a draw here. Cathartic reunion. Let's go with a, a cathartic reunion here. See what we get into. Insult! There we go. Alright, we can do 20 points of damage this turn with an insult. So let's see. We need 9 mana. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We got it. They have 1 mana available. I feel like we got it this turn. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We're burning to the ground. To the ground. That was... This was a very, very fun match. <laughs> oh, man. 2-0. All right, let's get into the uh, match three here. Again, patience rewards itself if uh, if you just play your cards right. We just burned for 20 points of damage. How about that? Play first? Yes. 
That was amazing. Okay, our opponent didn't really have anything. Like they drew really poorly, and uh, that gave us enough time for the setup, which was uh, a nice slow fade away. Um, we're gonna have Mulligan here. Ooh. This is probably a keep with the cathartic reunions. We can try it, but this is not a good hand. I don't think I would have had the patience to set that up. Josh, I mean, he was hitting me for three a turn. If he had played another, um, bottom that. If he had played another creature that turn for a Legion's Landing flip or something like that, I probably would have burned that instead. Um, but he didn't, and now it's just it's completely wide open for all that. So what's everyone's own opinion on the new Ascend mechanic and this new Instant Speed Edict? Uh, let me uh, pull that up so I can talk about it for a second. Yeah, Ascend is, uh, if you control 10 or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game, which is cool. Uh, then each, And then, then the Bonus Hunger, which is actually is a 3-mana instant to black, uh, each opponent sacrifices a creature. If you have the city's blessing instead, each opponent sacrifices half the creatures he or she controls, rounded up. I think Ascend is just, it's too, exp I feel like it's too expensive. Like, 10 permanents, like, unless we get a lot of really cool ways to interact with our opponent or interact with our own board, Obviously, permanence does count lands too, so it's not out of ordinary, out of the ordinary to have like more than ten permanents on the battlefield by turn maybe three or four, depending on what deck you're playing. But I do think uh, there needs to be some more token generation type situations going on here. Come on, mana! Get to mana. Do it. Do it. Nope. All right, we're gonna hit six once again. Token strategy plus lands, yeah. Treasure Matters deck? <laughs> Maybe. 10 permanents is easy. Control deck or token deck? Yeah, that's true. Trespasser's Curse here. That's not going to hurt us at all. This might be the Curse deck. Vamps and Treasures won't have a hard time at all if it's a 5 color. Oh, come on, deck. Give me some. Man, oh, there's 24 of you in the, in the deck. Vamps and Treasures won't have a hard time at all. If it's five color mechanic, it'll be hard for dinos though. Yeah, I feel like uh, dinos and maybe just vampires as the tribe in general. Um, well, pirates too probably need a lot of work. Um, and well, actually, let me rethink that. Dinosaurs and merfolk need the most work. Duress here probably gonna grab the insult. Um, maybe the dinable tower. Wow, cathartic reunion. Okay, that's fair. That would have been discarded through this cathartic reunion here. Come on, mana. Give me something. Alright. Alright. I guess this is karma for that amazing 20 points of damage we just did last game. Four mana for our opponent. Evolving Wilds play. Getting into a tapped mana. Let's see what they want to get rid of here. Doomfall. Yeah, they're going to get rid of a uh, another cathartic reunion. Yep. If we don't get into a mana this turn, we're probably going to scoop. Well, we got into a Sunscorched Desert, which is something. Yeah, cancel here. Let's get out a Walking Blister for one here. Obviously, it's going to do one point of damage to us as well. We could have played Firebrand and Archer, but I want to wait on that uh, red mana. Still think Dinos were really strong individually. It's the tribe that they lacked, yeah. You're getting burned by your own deck. Jace, that's 100% true. Five mana here. Fatal push to the Ballista. Could have done the opponent damage to them, but I hit six, so. Harness Lightning here. Huh. Again, we're going to pass. I'm just going to concede here because we haven't done anything for so many turns. Let's concede here and go into uh, our sideboard. I want to say Harness Lightnings are coming out, Walking Bliss is coming out. Let's take the Amulet out. Let's bring in the Hazarettes. <laughs> it's like they know I'm streaming. Like I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they haven't they haven't been on for a while, and they just they just came back from lunch. I guess I don't I don't know what's happening. It's like almost two o'clock right now for me, so I feel like lunch isn't in the you know shouldn't be the answer here. Let's take out Sweltering Suns. Um, I'm actually going to keep the Ballistas in one amulet. I 
Let's see what we can do. Play first, yes. Come on, mana. Thank you. This will be a keep. Goodness. Let's go for a mountain here. And see if they have a turn one plate for us to discard a card. <laughs> Leaf blower man. <laughs> A Dental Vanguard and Legion's Landing that support the Vamp Tribe. That's true. That's very true. Leaked playmat of that huge Dinosaur Hydra. Yeah, that was awesome. From Poland. Awesome. Welcome, man. Desert of the Glorified here. Coming in tapped. Could go for a shock. We're going to pass to our turn here. Get into a Hazard. That's nice. Let's get out a um, Sunscorched Desert. Ping them for one. Hit pass here. All right. How is it up in Poland? Very cold, I assume. Raptor baby. Sky Terror is too inconsistent to pull off on turn two. Red and white are secondary colors in the Nye build. That's very true. Opponent is passing with another tap land here. It's okay. Let's see what we draw into here. Dynavolt Tower. Let's go with the mountain here and play out the Dynavolt Tower. I think that's pretty fun. And then pass turn. Obviously, uh, Dynavolt Towers can help us build some energy, hopefully getting some burn into our opponent. Raptor Hatchling would be neat if they had some consistent buffs to land turn three. Yeah. Playing in Evolving Wilds. Lots of tap lands for our opponent. Let's get out a mountain here. We can do Walking Ballista for two, if you want to. Rampaging Ferocidon is also something we could do. I think uh, playing out a Walking Ballista here for two is fine. Um, we could play... Let me cancel real quick. Let's try uh, out a Hazret first. And see if they have Brass's Contempt for next turn. Hit six for that. Obviously, we have a hand full of cards, so we can uh, shrink that quite a bit next turn. Just see if they have Veracity's Contempt for Hazard here. English is good? Nice. Good. <laughs> yeah, there's Veracity's Contempt coming in. Glad you made this deck, Terran. I've been wanting to do a build around this, except with Hazard's Undying Fury over Tower. Eric, Hazard's Undying Fury is fun. That is a fun card. Let's see here. We have two Ballistas. I want to say the two ballista play here is fun. Let's do that. I'm not sure Rampaging Frost will come in uh, to play at all during this match. We'll see what happens. I know Menace might come into play pretty soon. Here's a walk the plank on the ballista here. And I would assume a fatal push for the other ballista. All I'm trying to do is basically uh, shrink my hand with the other Hazret in my deck. Yeah, there's another walk the plank. Okay. Let's see what we can do with our draw here. Another Dynavolt Tower. Let's get out a Rampaging Ferocity on and hold up a Shock and pass turn. I also finally made a new account, so no more Pulsa. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate that. That was how I was very upset about uh, not saying your name on the stream. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see here. Opponent passing their entire turn. They have four cards in hand. We're ramming up ruins here for us. We're going to go for attacks. Could have gone for a Divolt Tower play there. Might want to do that after the fact. They let us hit them. Ooh, okay. Let's go for a Divolt Tower play here. Again, it's going to give us four energy this time with a shock. So that's great for us. Hungry Flames is good as well. See four mana, or four cards in hand, seven mana on the battlefield. Insult. Okay, so we have an insult and a shock. We can do both this turn. So we can do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then another 
six. So we should have it this this turn, correct? I want to say yes. Let's try an insult here. Let's see if they have a. Uh... Let's see if they let me hit it. Ooh, they do. Let's go for a shock. That's it. Nice. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go to game two here on this match. Actually, this that was game two. Or, yeah, that was game two. We're actually in game three here. Didn't draw into any lands that first game. Uh, I want to say we're fine. Or submit. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's your favorite color of the play that is just monocolored? Probably red. But I love green. I love like the elf deck I played yesterday and modern. It's always fun. Okay. Let's see what we can do in game three here. Opening hand has three lands, insult, rampaging frost on, hungry flames, and dynable tower. This is gonna be a keep for me. We are on the draw though, so. Let's see if they have a discard card in their hand. Evolving Wilds play. Very good. Again, burn deck really in standard is about being patient. It's not really about being uh, the most effective, like throwing away cards in your hand. Um, let's get out a Aether Hub here. And then we're going to pass turn. I keep the deck list up on my one of my monitors during the stream. It helps me a lot. Nice, never gonna. Cool. Love mono white. It's good at everything but card draw. That's very true, Josh. I want to say red isn't that great at card draw either, but we do have things like Cathartic Reunion. But I don't really consider that card draw. So, Rampaging Frost on here. Let's get out a mountain. And then we're just going to pass turn. Not having anything until turn three. Was hoping on the caveat that they, they wouldn't have anything as well. But, Wretched Camel is a bit annoying. Hostile Desert. Three lands now. Getting in for two, I would assume. Yeah. We're going to play a Rampaging Ferocidon. That does work around a uh, Fatal Push, but it do does not work around a Walk the Plank. So we'll see what happens. They do have a Desert, so we want to be aware of that before we immediately kill the Camel with the Hungry Flames or something. Reunion is just card selection, yeah. And it's super bad <laughs> against permission. Yeah. Is this Camel Tribal? Is that what this is? Yeah, we're going to block here. Obviously, it does may mean that Fatal Push is online. We do have another Ferocidon. I feel like getting rid of a uh, land here. Heartless Pillage. Are we going to get rid of another land, perhaps? Hmm. I want to say we get rid of uh, land and Rampaging Frosted on here. Or Dynavolt Tower. Let's get rid of Dynavolt Tower. Three, car three lands in the battlefield. And a Ruins. They do get a treasure out of that. One Evolving Wilds. Let's see if they have a Fatal Push for the Ferocidon. If they don't, awesome. Alright, we have a Mountain here. Let's get in for some damage. Evolving Wilds here. Getting in for three. Alright, let's get out another Ferocidon. Obviously, it does ping us for one. We'll ping them for two if they play out a creature. Five cards in their hand. They do have one, two, three, four, five... Man on the battlefield. YouTube got better at blocking links in chat. <laughs> yeah, never gonna. Yeah, usually if you guys want to share links or whatever in the uh, chat, I always recommend just uh, doing that in the Facebook group with the link in the description. That way you guys can talk amongst yourselves and do all that fun stuff. Okay, we have insult, we have a shock, we have hungry flames. We can technically do six 
We can't do everything we want to do this turn, obviously. So we want to be a little bit safe. Let's just continue to attack out here. Three cards in our opponent's hand. Hmm. Do keep in mind, Hungry Flames can do four, three, six damage to a creature and four damage to our opponent. Doomfall. Ooh. Ouchies. 13 life. Two more cards in hand. Hostile Desert Reanimation. They're going to go for 3-4. We could do a Hungry Flames if we wanted to. We're going to take that for now. YouTube is cheese. But I love it. Yeah. Hazard the Fervent here. Let's get that out. Obviously, we can't play it this turn, but we can see if they have a Vraska's Contempt. They do have two cards in hand, so we'll see what happens. Cheese is as addictive as hard drugs, as is YouTube. YouTube equals cheese. Checks out. <laughs> That's very true. Very true, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just eight, not, not nine. If near Deadlands, they're going to weaken the hazard. They're going to try and kill it with the other if near Deadlands here. Okay. Let's see. Let's go for a primal amulet play here. Obviously, the hazard is dead. Because they're going to waste the if near Deadlands again. My man hit him with the hard logic. Torment of Scarabs here. Okay. Let's see. Another Torment of Scarabs. Ouch. That is going to hurt. Or help, actually. Let's lose three life once. And then discard a Hungry Flames. Play out a land. Let's see. We have six damage, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. We can do ten damage this turn. Get them down to three. Whoops, actually, it's one cheaper. Okay. Ping for sorcery on shock. And then is the sorcery in the graveyard two as well? If that's the case, I think we win this turn, actually, right? Bam, bam. Let's see. It is nice. We do win this turn. What? Negative one. Look at us. Look at us. We're just. This deck is doing so well on stream. I am so proud of this. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's play another round. Let's play another round. We are three zero right now. Yeah, Eric. We we win. We won there. Primal aim that made everything one one less. That was the uh, the thing that made me realize it. Play first. Yes. It's a Christmas miracle. Red deck actually wins. Let's see what our opening hand has here. Two Firebrand Archers, a Treasure Map, and a Strike. I think this is going to be a keep for us. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's get out of a mountain here, and then we're going to pass. Righteous man. Christmas has come early for Terran. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to hit six for our opponent. This is fun. All right, let's see. Mountain here. Walking Ballista, let's get a mountain here, and let's go for a Firebrand Archer and see if our opponent wants to uh, let that happen. Assuming our opponent is going to be playing the Roundup Red strategy, that means that the Firebrand Archers might make it out here. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, this is a vehicle deck. Getting in for two. Let's get out a Roundup Ruins. What is this song? Oh, this is uh, the Gravity Beetle stage. Gotcha. Also, no punts. Taryn, I think you found your soulmate deck. <laughs> we're going to have a Firebrand Archer again. And then we're going to pass turn. It's because we're listening to good music. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys like um, metal or screamo or whatever, but... It's kind of randomly, like, with that, within the, uh, the Mega Man X soundtrack, like, for some reason. 
All right. Six cards, three mana available. Okay. Brazen Scourge, okay. Middle is awesome. Awesome, Josh. Joshua. Getting in for five here. Skrettle. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <clears throat> we do have Hungry Flames. We can kill uh, the Scourge. I think killing Hungry Flames here and doing some damage is good. Yield to that. Mega Man X, more like Mega Death X. Am I right, boys? That's pretty good, Zach. <laughs> Again, we're going to be racing, so we're getting in for four points of damage here. Do you keep in mind that if we get into another mana, we can do six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of damage next turn. So we can actually close this, ma this match out. I'm assuming they want to kill a archer this turn. Five cards in hand, four mana on the on the battlefield. Let's see what happens. Four mana tap. <laughs> um, bye, Zach. <laughs> Winning games, exactly, Zachary. It's it's the dream, the dream today. I'm not saying we do bad most of the time. I'm just saying like there are some days where I feel like we do nothing but lose. So, like yesterday, we did like one four. Or one three, and we had a really good deck, you know. It just it's not, and today I feel like I have a Christmas land deck, and it's just doing baller good. So, you think Archer would be a good cyborg card versus Control, James? I would say yes. The problem with with the Archer is that it dies to Fatal Push, and that card normally is the card that shuts down Archer pretty effectively, as well as Rasus Contempt, which gains some passive life. Ouch. Okay, they're going to crew here. Getting in for six. Come on, mana. Give me a mana. Oh, my God! Guys. Guys. We did it. We, we outraced a burn deck. All right, a, a aggro deck. Let's get in for four points of damage here. And then we just burn them with two strikes. Because two strikes, you're out. There you go. We got it. We did it, guys. All right. Let's go to sideboard. Go to game two. We are on a roll today. We're on fire. Feeling real good. I'm joking about leaving and everyone thinks I am. <laughs> Feel bad for me today. Oh, man. I just picture Terry with Guy Fury frosted tips. <laughs> hey, welcome to Flavortown. Let's see, we get out Hazret, we're gonna bring out Primal Amulet, it's not fast enough. Let's bring in Sweltering Suns. You fried them up like KFC chicken. What's up, Cyborg? Yeah, game. Uh, what to bring out... Or bring in, probably. Gremlin Infestation? I think that's funny. Let's take out Walking Ballista, it's too much mana for the cost. I do think a braid is coming in as well. Actually, not a braid. Let's take a braid out and bring in Chandra's defeat. We are playing a red deck after all. <laughs> Jesus, Louise, this deck is straight fire. Let's see here. Cathartic Union could come out. I want to say Dynabolt Tower should be coming out. Let's take one out and take the Inferno Jet out. Let's see what we got here. I think I want to bring in Rampaging Ferocidon. Man, Gremlin Infestation is such a fun card. But I feel like it's too expensive. But it's exactly what we want to be doing. Take out Dyna. You like Ballistas? Let's take out Dynamo Towers then, completely. And leave uh, and put an Inferno Jet in. Or one Ballista. I feel like that's fine. How much does list in paper? Ballista should by far be the most expensive card. Yeah, Zakadin, Ballista is the most expensive card in the set, next to Hazret. Uh, on uh, MPGO, it's about 60 tickets. I want to say on paper it was like about 110, 120, something like that. Again, if you took out the walking Ballistas, it would be under 100, obviously. 
All right, we're up against a fast deck, so we got to uh, be just as fast ourselves. Really hope we have good hands here. A braid was going to be a card I brought in, Carl, but I brought in Gremlin Infestation instead, and then brought in Chandra's Defeat over the braid because they need something to crew for the vehicles. So if we can keep their creature curve low, um, we can in Gremlin Infestation on them and ping them for two points every single turn, which I think is more fun than in a braid. Although a braid is probably the better choice. I'm just kind of going for flavor here. Welcome to Flavor Town. I got to get big rings now. <laughs> I think you can make a budget if you mix in black, right? Uh, James, you could, yes, if you do uh, cut to ribbons instead and take out um, walking ballistas. Just replace it with four cut to ribbons. I think you would be fine. Um, you can obviously just splash uh, that with um, taking out probably the aether hubs if you wanted to do that. But I think you wanted to probably focus more on the, the amulet instead of the dynamo tower. Opening hand here is a treasure map and land. I think this is actually fine because treasure maps can help us with the draws. We're going to keep here and go on the pl on the draw. Gizmo thing, what's up? We are on fire today getting into a land here and passing. We're in uh, game two. We just won the first game of this match. Let's see what our opponent does on game on round two here. This might just be a hasty deck. Nest robber? Yep, it is a haste deck. Getting in for two points of damage. Let's get in a mountain here and do a treasure map. Again, keep in mind that, you know, life really doesn't matter at this point. We're really just kind to trying to um, outpace our opponent. Getting into insult and lightning strike here are fantastic pieces for what we want to be doing. What if you cut a few non-essential cards, added blue and green, and then ran long tusk up a tune? And, you know what? Just play teamer energy. That's standard, right? <laughs> you are right on the money, sir. Treasure map here. On top, um... Value on top of value? Sure, why not? They didn't have a turn three play, so I'm happy to play out another treasure map. So let's hit six here. See what our opponent's going to do. Six cards in their hand. Three mana on the battlefield, going to four. Let's see if they have a uh, four drops. Is a, okay. Brazen Buccaneers. Okay. Brazen Scourge is revealed there, which is the 3-3 uh, three, three hasty. They do get in for uh, five points of damage there. Let's go for a treasure map. Ferocidon. Let's bottom that. Draw first. Aether Hub here. Let's go for a mountain here. Really wanting to get into a Sweltering Suns now, since they're doing five points of damage here. Lightning Strike can kill the Buccaneer. Uh, we could try that. I'm going to pass turn for our opponent. Both are annoying, but Lantern Control is his own type of evil. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's modern. Let's see what our opponent's going to be doing. F going to five cards in hand, playing out, I would assume, the 3-3 three, three Hasty. Getting in eight points of damage. Let's go for a Buccaneer Strike. And a Scry. Bottom that. Still gonna take five to the face. All right, this is gonna be a hard one. One if we do win this, let's go for a s treasure map here. Insult, bottom that. Another uh, scry. Come on, soldier of sons. There's three of you. Nope. Bottom. Let's draw. Ruins. Hmm. Insult, we could throw to the graveyard and then injury for a nest robber. That would drop the damage spike. But I think we've lost this one on turn six. Yeah. Do not have Facebook. Oh, I should probably start a Discord pretty soon. We probably need to do that eventually. I just like Facebook because it's um it's a little bit easier to control, like yeah, we're done. Let's go to concede here. Ouch. Let's see what we can do here in the sideboard. Let's take out a ballista, put in a braid. Let's take out the infestations and put in a infernal. No, let's put in a magma spray and hit submit. All right, we're into game three. Let's see what we can do. Yep, 
Yep, brought in some Magma Sprays, Mountain, Aether Hub, Shock, Hungry Flames, Insult, Sweltering Suns, and Harness Lightning. This is going to be a keep for us. Just need one more mana for a Sweltering Suns play if we need it. Let's get into a Mountain play and then pass. Yeah, we brought in one Magma Spray, didn't bring in the other one. Opted for the more Braid route. We'll see what happens though. Sunscorch Desert. That's fine. No problem. Aether Hub does mean that Sweltering Suns can still be played, so that's good for us. Wow, nothing on turn two. That's awesome. Let's go for a uh, Ruins play here. And then we're going to pass turn. We have the pieces to dismantle their creatures. Seven cards in our opponent's hand. Three mana going for the Oncrop Crasher. Let's go for a Harness Lightning here. We want to save that Hungry Flames for something that has three points of damage. Or three points of toughness. Getting one energy from that. Got into a Roundup Ruin. Let's go for an Aether Hub here. Now we have two pieces of uh, energy. All right, now we're, we're fairly well set up now. Seeing this deck makes me miss Thermo Alchemist. That was a fun deck, James. I agree with that. I did consider putting in that 04 Defender artifact creature that pings for one. That was fun. Draxter here. Nothing happens this turn. We did bring out Gremlin Infestation, so that is something to keep in mind. Ram up. Ruins coming in here. Let's go for a Ferocidon play. Keep open a Shock if we need it. Do keep in mind that Rampaging Frostdon has Menace, so... Let's see. Ooh, Thunder Giant. Interesting. 4-3 with Haste. Assuming he wants to... Uh, Wow, he's just going to attack out. Okay. That's fair. Again, we can Hungry Flames that. What a weird card to put in this deck. I guess because it's the only thing that has haste. I think that's with the Welcome decks. Is that part of it? The Welcome decks? I don't remember this card. It says M15, but I'm not remembering this card from anywhere in particular. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's go for a Hungry Flames play. We're going to keep up a shock this particular turn. I wanted to play out that Firebrand Archer, but I want to be uh, a little bit safe on that 6-1 that can come in. Very nice. Thunder Giant is steadily right now. Yeah, welcome deck. Yeah, Joshua. Exactly. Firebrand Archer is going to be fantastic for us as a play next turn. Would love to get into some actual just regular mountains, though. I think this deck is just an upgraded welcome deck. Gotcha. Might just be just a fast deck here. Nest Robber, I'm assuming a... Again, there's going to be a ping from the Rampaging Frostadon. Ooh, Speedway Fanatic. Sweltering Suns is going to do a lot of damage next turn. Wrangle? Oh, no. Let's see. You're going to crew the 6-1, uh, right? One card in their hand. Done a really good job of taking over the board. We are going to take uh, five points of damage here. But we are getting rid of the dragster. Ouch. Terran will teach them to play Welcome Deck. <laughs> That possibility of really being just an upgraded welcome deck will make losing the only match to it a really, really sad. I mean, uh, you never know. We're at 11 right now. We are going to Sweltering Suns this coming turn. Nice! Got into a mountain. Let's, uh, let's see here. Trying to see whether or not we want to insult first. Get in for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's a fair play. Let's insult first.
Get in for six points of damage. Let's actually just do the injury here. And do four points to the face, dropped into one. Alright. We're going to save that Sweltering Suns till next turn if we need it. Firebrand Archer with a Sweltering Suns play is actually going to be hilarious. Hijack once again. Ouch. One card in hand. <laughs> Getting in for five here. Okay. Let's see. We actually have Ramen Up Runes as well. We have so many ways to win this match here. We can do Firebrand Archer. We can do Sweltering Suns. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, man. We won that one as well. All right. Last round for the day. Match five because we're going really fast in the rounds. We're 4-0 at the moment. We are undefeated with this janky mono red burn deck. Ah, oh, it feels so good. feels so good. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Appreciate it. We're at 150 watching right now. What's up, guys? Of course, if you're new to the channel, new to the stream, I stream Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on the channel, on the YouTube. Make sure to like the video if you like it, subscribe to it, and uh, yeah, I do deck techs, we do uh, news videos on Fridays, we do finance videos on Mondays. We keep it active on here. Don't have audio right now, but this deck seems super fun. Aw. Not that janky. Oh, come on, Elliot. Come on. Come on, son. Um... I don't like this hand, but it's almost worth to keep it because of the Aether Hubs and Dynavolt Tower. Let's try it. This is going to be the last one for the day, so if we lose it, you can blame me. Roundup Runes here. Let's go for a Aether Hub play and then pass. We're not going to tell them what we do, what we have here. Fitted Pools. This is probably the Cycling Drake deck. Hmm. Since this is the last match, I guess I can do our little spiels. You can follow me at Superhinotama right above me. You can follow MPGO Traders at MPGO Traders on Twitter. Both of us on Twitter. Uh, let's get out a Ruins here. And then a Archer. Looks like Esper's stockpile. Terran's like, oh yeah, I got this fam. Everybody's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Terran finally woke up on the right side of the bed. Oh, that's true. No, I'm kidding. I did sort of sleep in today, so that is that is a problem. But I couldn't even film the video regardless because of the the uh, leaf blower guys. Treasure map here. This is a four color deck. What is happening? Where at in CST you located? Do you F and M? Uh, I do, uh, let's see, kind of Danville Tower here. I'm located in the old Tennessee, the state of Tennessee. What's up, Alistra? Not sure what this is yet. Get in for two here. They're doing a lot of setup, so. I was, th I was thinking the Esper, like, Stockpile deck whenever I see Renegade map and treasure map, but might not be that. Might be some weird artifact strategy. Stockpile strategy, gotcha. Or some ca token strategy in general. Treasure map. We do have Hungry Flames in our hand, so we can deal with those pretty quickly. Let's see here. Let's go Aether Hub. Hit cancel. I'm worried about playing this, but I think it's the best move for us because of the um, setup we have with Hungry Flames next turn. But the green. I'm not sure what the green's for yet. Maybe um, ramp, perhaps? Treasure map does give them some energy here. Or treasure, not energy. My guess is it would have revolt dude that can revive dudes in green-white. The one that ha was a promo. 
Ooh, push on the archer here. Two cards in our opponent's hand. Attacking in for one. That's fair. Okay. Got into a shock here. Let's go for a... Ruins. Hungry Flames. Get some Dynavolt Tower energy. Again, doing one extra damage. We're actually doing three points of damage to our opponent. And then another two with a Firebrand Archer attack here. Going to hold that shock into our hand for a while. Uh, let's get in for two points of damage here. We are killing it this game. Green for the Harvest? Maybe, Joshua. We'll see what happens. Opponent does have two cards in hand, so they've been doing a lot of setup this game. I assume they're going to use the Treasure Cove to draw some cards. Let's see what they got. Lots of mana being tapped. Is there a Vraska? Renegade map. Grabbing a Swamp. There's six. Yeah, there's Vraska. That's fair. All right, Hungry Flames is going to help us out a ton this next uh, turn. They are at 12, though. Yeah, I can Dynavolt Vraska directly, which is great. Um, so if they had negative three there, we could have, in response, killed Vraska. Let's see what we can do. Passing turn. Thank you. Got into an actual mountain this game. Let's go for a Hungry Flames again. Getting some much needed energy. We're going to redirect that damage to Vraska. Yes, yes. I'm going to attack Vraska directly. Dropping to three. Let's go for a... I actually want to hold up the shock here. Let's just uh, ping Vraska for three. Removing it from the board. There we go. When does the Planeswalker redirection rule change? I'm not sure yet. I think it's starting with, with rivals. Am I correct? Ajani! That's why they have green. Okay. Well, that's fair. That just kind of messes us up a little bit. We can still do one, two, three, four points of damage to him this turn. Five, six, if they don't play a creature. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Primal, it's got a uh, Sun Scorched Desert. Yes. Let's see. Three, four. Yes. Okay. Lots of triggers. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Ajani will die. Killing two Planeswalkers back to back with a burn deck. Nice. This might be Super Friends. That's true. They have seven cards in hand, so... I'm assuming another Planeswalker is going to hit the board. Ooh, Thematic Compass. Again, it's not very smart to uh, waste your burn against uh, Planeswalkers, so we'll probably lose this match due to doing that. Yeah, there's a Walk the Plank on the Firebrand Archer. But we can always try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do have seven mana, so we could do a 3-3... Three, three Ballista. Keep in mind, this is game one. Evolving Wilds. Getting into Forest. Hidden side effect in Planeswalkers. They're essentially life gain in some matchups, yeah. Expensive life gain, but still, that's true. Taryn, you get your DNA for Arena yet. DNA? My DNA? What is what is that? I have, Like skin? They, they sent me skin? Firebrand Archer play. We'll get that out. 
I haven't got it at all yet. So, no. Uh, we're going to pass here, I would assume. We could use Remnant Ruins that turn, but we're going to wait. If we do that, we, we're, uh, we're wasting either life or energy, and I want to be kind of uh, frugal for a minute. Itchy, itchy. Anointer Priest. Another Anointer Priest. NDA, I got you. <laughs> no, I haven't got that yet, sideboard. Sorry about that. So many Anointer Priests. What is happening? Okay. Opponent is passing here. Treasure map. Board stage is just insane right now. Draw, let's see what we get. Insult is amazing. We're going to hold on to that. And we're just going to uh, pass turn. They're going to beat us in for three. Do keep in mind that Insult can swing an entire match. I'd like to see some YouTubers create deck lists for Arena's Ixalan only card pool. You mean sealed deck lists? I don't know. Fatal Push getting the Archer here. Yeah, they've taken over the match now. Are you going to play Arena or stick to MTGO? Um, I'm not sure yet, Cyborg. I, I mean, I, I will always play MTGO, obviously, for the channel. Um, we might just do a video or two on the Arena, but I don't really know. We'll see what happens. Maybe should have burned the face instead of the walkers. Eight on Veraska, six on Ashani. They could have also killed Firebrand, so hard to say. Yeah, Tribal, that's that's one of the things to think about. Um, also, you know, Vraska can just outright kill somebody. Here's Tezzeret. There are just Planeswalkers for days in this person's deck. They have one card in hand. Treasure map scry. Really hope Arena will have permanent block constructed. Maybe. If you can call it that. <laughs> with upcoming one step formula. Yeah. Getting in for three. Gonti grabs something important from us. Let's see. Well, Dynamo Tower isn't terrible. It's just not fantastic. We're going to be taking five next turn. I think this one's a loss for us on this particular match. I'm going to say this next game will probably be get, getting rid of the uh, Dynavolt Tower and focusing, or the Amulets, and focusing more on being faster than this opponent. Marionette Master, probably bringing in the Rampaging Ferocidons as well. I think you win next turn if you live. How so? So we have a... Insult play here. We can do uh, round up ruins, right? No, we can't do round up ruins. They have a shock to the face. Gotcha. There we go, dead. Insult injury, two down vault activations. Mm, true. Okay. Let's go for Hazard right here. Let's take out the Ballista. Let's take out the Amulet. I like Sweltering. I do like Rampaging Frost on as well. I think a Braid is fun. I want to say Inferno Jet probably needs to be taken out. But we really didn't see anything to deal with it, so... Could have won last turn with Amulet reducing costs. Sam, punt. Aw. I always forget about the, the Amulet making everything cheaper, obviously. That is true. Could have done that. I'll put a punt counter on there, Sam. You're right. You're right. Let's see. Gremlins, sprays, defeats. I think we're okay. Uh, I want to say we want to take out... Let me sort this one more time. Let's 
Let's take out. Mm. Yeah, it's game two here. I haven't updated the listing yet. Just still looking at my sideboard. Yeah, let's take out an Inferno Jet. Take out a Shock. Well, Harness Lightning. Submit to that. <laughs> Could have had a puntless 5-0 if we weren't for you. <laughs> no, that's all right, Sam. I think I think I've probably lost this one. I think my opponent's gonna get us with a Super Friends build. Yeah, Shock doesn't do a ton of damage, but it does do enough for me to think it's worth it over a Harness Lightning for now. Arena is basically MTG with a Hearthstone transaction formula from what I gathered. But probably a lot less greedy. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Obviously, there's no uh, marketplace built into Arena, so that was one of the main concerns. You can't, like, buy, sell, or trade uh, cards in the format from what I remember. I've, I've seen. That may have changed, though. So. I do know it's probably not going to release for, like, another year because they're in the beta right now. So we'll be through three other sets by then, I think. All right, waiting for our opponent here. Could have brought in an Inferno Jet, but take out a shock. We'll see what happens. Play first, yes. Two Dynavolts, Hazaret, and Lands. I'm actually going to keep this because it's effective because of Hazaret here. We can play out our cards until uh, we can play Hazaret. Arena is literally new duels. I mean, that's kind of what I figured. Gameplay is very different, but you get the gold for playing and doing daily missions, which you can use to buy into drafts and buy boosters, yeah. Is Arena going to be available on different OS? So they did talk about, like, tablets uh, and, like, uh, mobile devices, but I don't think um, Mac is still in the realm of possibility just yet. I think they, they've probably discussed it, but I don't know. Not being able to get specific cards is not ideal to me. A deep money pit. <laughs> Yeah, so I, th I think Arena's probably just going to be great for, like, sealed and drafts, which is fine. But we'll see what happens. Obviously, when it, when it goes live. I'm optimistic, you know. I do think MPGO needs a new skin, obviously. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Come on, opponent. We're at 18 minutes. This is game two. We got one more game, if I win. <laughs> I guess we'll see how it all plays out installing it tonight. Nice! Do, 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 do. In my estimation, Arena is doomed from the start if it can't transfer empty Geo collections. Yeah, Josh, that's kind of been the big point of contention among a lot of us, you know, in the empty Geo space. Um, if you can't really transfer collections or anything like that, then it's just kind of like starting over. And not a lot of us want to do that, <laughs> obviously. Um, so I don't really know, you know. It's kind of like whenever the, they've had, you know, the talks of, like, World of Warcraft 2 or whatever. Uh, or the new MMO. Like, it's just like, well, if you start over, do I get to keep all my old skins? Do I get to keep all my old mounts? Do they get updated? Or, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just very difficult to uh, to talk about when it's something that's been that established. You know, like, over ten years. So. Thought Arena was meant not meant to replace MPGO. So they've talked about it as well, Elliot. Yeah, they haven't said it's not meant. To, it's they, They've said it's not meant to replace it. So that's... You know, it's worth, you know, mentioning. So I think it's, you know, I guess, I guess at the end of the day, we'll just find out. You know, they say a lot of stuff like that, so. Opponents being slow here. I just said you still there in the comments. I don't believe they're doing the Hearthstone model, Elliot, no. I view it as chasing the people who haven't been playing in PGO. That's true. I'm going to give our opponent another 30 seconds, and I'm probably going to drop. Might be a drop for this game. I think we're still going to lose, though. But if we do drop, that'll probably call it for the stream today. Going to give him 30 seconds to reply. You can probably play for free, but collecting stuff won't be... Yeah. 
Again, it's all up in the air now. It's still speculation, you know. We definitely want to wait and see what happens. I'm optimistic. I think it'll be a great, you know, starting point for somebody. Um, if MTGO continues to remain where legacy players and vintage players and everyone else plays, then I, I don't really see a reason for Arena to, to exist. Just like duels, it's just another way to get people into the game that are otherwise not into it. Um, but if, you know, the rumors have been going around about them wanting to go straight digital, all, like all stuff, you know, in a few years from now, then Arena might be a big deal. But we'll just, again, have to see. Like, it's just, it's all up in the air. Come on, opponent. I gave you more than 30 seconds. Maybe try to have a new skin? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, guys. I think I think our opponent has fell, fallen asleep. Alrighty. Come on. We're going to concede now. I guess that'll do it today. So we technically went undefeated. <laughs> Because our opponent decided to uh, go AFK for a while. But this is an awesome, fun, like, super fun deck for the last standard deck on stream besides the Fan Friday deck, if it's standard. Um, wow. Did not expect this to do so well on stream, and it just overperformed to my highest expectation. That's amazing. So much fun. Yo, Taryn, you playing a paper anywhere now that it's... Jeez Hall is closing? Tribal will... Gamers Hall is already closed, is it not? I haven't played anywhere, like, in paper, like, nearby yet um, in a while. So, kind of sad about that, but it's all right. We still have MPGO here for drafting and all that fun stuff. Red deck, strong deck. <laughs> Strongest there is. Oh, man. As always, guys, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out the other the other awesome content on the channel. We do, uh, obviously, finance videos on Mondays, news videos on Fridays, and, of course, the deck techs during the week. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for some Commander, hopefully. Um, if not, Commander, it might just be a draft. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Let's see. Oh snap, if you're doing so many fan decks next week, I really need to see if I have some shit coming. <laughs> yeah, keep in mind, um, the week of Christmas, so we'll have Christmas on Monday. I won't be streaming, obviously, uh, but Thursday through Friday I will be streaming um, all of the, like, Christmas, like, all Christmas week I will be streaming the uh, fan decks. So Tuesday through Thursday, Friday will be fan decks. Uh, that's basically giving me a reason to catch up, uh, like, a week ahead on video stuff. So whenever uh, the new year rolls around, I can actually be a week ahead and not feel so stressed out. <laughs> Oh, man. But I love you guys, and uh, I hope you had fun today. I had a ton of fun, and I will see you tomorrow. Later. Oh, great, great ending song here.